Good evening, everyone, and welcome back to the Double J Talk Show. I'm Jazzy J. And I'm J-Lo. And tonight is Halloween. Ooh. Yep, it is Halloween. Spooky season has arrived. Even though this has been one crazy year, it is spooky season. The kids are out. The adults are out. Everyone's out having their celebration. Some people mask, some people not. Some people just, you know, walking around, you know. We see a wide variety of Halloween costumes. Some of them creative. Some creative, some not. Like, we've seen Smiling Pile of Poo. We've seen yeah. Ghostbusters, Star Wars. Harry Potter. Harry Potter. Uh, we saw, who else? Uh, bananas. Plenty of bananas. I saw the big blow-up uh, dinosaurs earlier. Oh, yeah. Those, those are fun. I actually have one of those somewhere. Is it snowing? No, it's not snowing. It's That's dust. Okay. That's that's fog. Yeah. Oh yeah. We oh, just, we got we got a security camera up so we can see like everything yeah, that's happening. My house has a security system, so we just have the cameras flickering so we can yeah, kind of yeah. see what's going on. But yeah. So Jared, um, it's been one crazy night. Yes, it has. We've gotten lots of people coming through for Halloween. We got people getting candy. You know, every we got some amazing decorations. <clears throat> Everyone's you know excited about tonight, and yeah, it should be fun. All right. Oh. Jared, did I tell you about the show that we played last night? Oh, yeah. You had a band performance last yes, night. Yes. Um, I'm in a band called Infected Heads. Uh, we're more a uh, punk metal rock group. And uh, we played in that um, this old bank, that um, Game Cafe that used to be a bank in uh, downtown Peabury. And um, so we played in the actual like vault area where all the money used to be kept. It was actually really cool. You can see all the reinforced concrete, uh, the reinforced steel. You can see all the deposit boxes where the money was kept and everything. It was really cool. And... All the sound was like hitting you all at once because it was enclosed and my ears um they were just not working that night yeah it was just it was just not working uh, yeah i know i've been to that place it's actually kind of cool and it's actually kind of fun they, they turned it into a gaming like yeah lab like so. imagine your local bank just turning into like a game cafe i mean it just it happened in peaberg yeah it's good it's good in peaberg i think that that's a good uh, it's a good addition it really is because um you can attract some people it follows all the COVID uh, safety guidelines, and just like everyone can have fun and watch movies and do D and D stuff, play video games. Yeah, it's a good place. I honestly enjoy it. We tried to go once, but they were like closed yeah, we for like some sort of private event or something. Well, sure. Either that or it was just it was just closed just because of COVID. Uh, yeah, I don't know. It was in the summer though, I think. Oh, it was. Yeah. Oh, they were probably building stuff. Uh, yeah, they, I guess I guess that type of place needs like upgrading because I know that was about the time PS Five was released and stuff. Oh, yeah. So, all right. So, yeah. Want to talk about Halloween? Yeah, sure. All right. So, we're talking about Halloween. We see these costumes. We see the kids come in. Look, we got a doctor right there. <laughs> yeah, we have this Godzilla one right there. And Godzilla, yep. We got quite a few people. Oh, Look, are those people? Hey, I think I know those people. Do you? I think I know those girls. All right, well. Yeah, I do know those girls. You want to prank them? No. <laughs> no. Yeah, no pranking going on. No, we're not going to prank people, no. Uh, those days are over. Ah, uh, sucks. Yeah. Uh, I, I've got some fun prank stories. We'll save those for later episodes. All right. Because uh, they're, they're actually very interesting to say the least. And I would love to have like a whole episode just of stories. Of, just stories of pranks. Of pranks. Of just everything. Just stor stories of stuff that's happened in our lives. Yeah, of course. So, some funny stuff that's happened. Pranks in college. Prank All stuff. Pranks in college. Actually, we're, now that I think about it, we haven't really pulled many pranks in college. Really? Well, it's been mostly COVID stuff, so, you know. Oh, yeah. We can't really... There are certain things we can do, and there are certain things we can't do. Yeah. Especially with the world of COVID around us and everything. COVID, COVID, COVID. COVID. Yep. Uh, yep, those cases are going back up, but you know what? Everyone's... Everyone's keeping going. Yeah. Life just goes on. Life goes on and on and on. Hey, we're gonna get, we're gonna get copyrighted. That's not a song. Oh. Is there something I idea? just I just assume it's a song. Just don't want to get copyrighted. If you know no, what I mean. we can't. Yeah, podcasts you can't play copyrighted music. For those of you who are a little bit new to podcasts, we can't play any sort of uh, I mean, copyrighted. I mean, we're new to podcasting too. We're new to podcasting, but for those of you who are very new to podcasting or listening to this when we're old podcasters and you're just starting a new podcast or you're catching up, you can't play copyrighted music in podcasts. Otherwise, yeah. otherwise they'll demon. Oh, not de. Well, they're not demonetized. They'll just remove remove your podcast from the site. Unless if it's on YouTube and. We're well, gonna get demonetized. YouTube, they will demonetize you, yeah. Because YouTube demonetizes everything. Yeah, they they commonly do that. 
YouTube. That's the thing with YouTube is they will they do demonetize people. Yeah. You know how it is, because you know they got they got to get those ad revenues and you know people like their royalties and things like that. Yeah. YouTube the YouTube system is kind of a system built on advertisements. Yeah, and I can't believe they actually did like a a watch Mojo video for uh, the 2019 rewind. Yeah, I, I gotta look at that. I gotta, I can't wait to see this year's rewind. Oh, it's gonna be terrible. It's there's not much to put in it. Here, here's what's gonna be in it. You're gonna, COVID. You're gonna get you're gonna get someone wake. Well, it's gonna be some sob story. It's either gonna be a sob story. It's gonna be just. Blah. Or a celebrity just doing cringe stuff. Or it's gonna be celebrities doing. Cr- it's gonna be YouTube celebrities. And some of these celebrities, you know what? If you look at the YouTube rewinds from the past. How many of them have actually been, had YouTubers that, you know, you've had actually known from the past? I have no idea. I'm going to be honest, I haven't really watched any of the Rewinds past um, 2018. Yeah, I watched last year's, and it was a little bit underwhelming. Yeah, I only watched um, 2018's and 2019. I only watched the 2018 because it, it just became a meme. I know, the 18 meme was, or the 18 Rewind was terrible. Congrats, YouTube. You made the most disliked uh, video on YouTube. Yeah, that YouTube made their own disliked video. How, can you freaking believe that? You played yourself. That that's crazy. The people that own YouTube made their made a video and it sucked. Yeah. All right. Well, let's continue on with our discussions of uh, life and dis- and things. And let's I guess go to Halloween. I guess we could. Should we jump back to Halloween? Yeah. All right. Let's think about other stuff that's going on with Halloween. What would What do you think? Like trick or treating wise this year. I see these trick or treaters coming around. Yeah. This this afternoon we had people coming around. You know, I think people are getting ready, and you know, people are excited to be out again because you know, trick or treating is always one of those childhood memories that everyone remembers. Yeah, because you don't want to tell your kids you can't go trick or treating, because they probably won't understand the the COVID stuff going around, and you just. You know, it's just one of those things that that'll keep kids happy. No, a lot of the younger kids you see, they, they don't they don't get it. Like they don't get the COVID stuff. Yeah. Like you know, you gotta explain like you know, oh, there's bad germs out, and we gotta make sure we cover our mouths with our faces and wash our hands and things like that. Like being a young, being a parent of a young kid right now, it must be tough because yeah, of course. you have to educate your kids on this, and you have to make sure your kids are like you know wearing masks yeah. and things like that. And they all they just want to like go out and stuff. And- no, they want to, like, go to school. Like, a lot of these kindergartners and stuff, they want to go to school. Like, they want to learn. Like, they don't want to be st- glued to Zoom and stuff. I think kindergarten was, like, the only time I actually really wanted to go to school. Yeah, I, no, I would say elementary school up to, like, sixth grade. And then after, like, seventh and eighth grade, I was like... Oh, yeah. I was like, yeah. Middle school is just... Middle school made that, school that bad. Just, that just, like, makes, makes you not want to learn anymore. Middle school just ruins school. It does. I mean... Not for me. I played Guitar Hero all throughout uh, middle school because during lunch they had like, this like fifteen minute slot of free time where you can just do whatever you want. Like you were recess? Allowed... Yeah, kind of. Uh, you were allowed to go outside. You were allowed to go in the library. I chose to go in the library because that's where the Wii was, and I played Guitar Hero. We had we had the same thing. We, we actually had recess. But oh really? You can either do like recess or study hall. Depends on what you want to do. Okay. So you can either. I, like... I take recess. Yeah, some people did recess. Some people do study hall. It all depends. Everyone, Depends on how lazy I am. Every, everyone has their preference. Like, I know some people did study hall because they, yeah. they'd ask, they'd go get, ask for help from teachers or something like that, or they just want to get homework done, or they just don't want to go outside. And then you get the kids that go outside and play recess. Yeah. Uh, study hall, I, I used that a lot in high school. I used it to, like, do oh. last minute homework. If you don't have a study hall in high school, you're doing high school wrong. Yeah. You're failing at high school because study hall in high school is like your own free period where you can use to get caught up. Talk with friends, go to the library. Actually, you can't really talk with friends in the study hall. We could. Uh, well, you could. Just, uh, just not in the room, uh, where the main study hall was. Mm. You had to be quiet in certain places. We went to two different high schools, by the way, so. Oh, yeah, yeah. I went, I usually went into, like, the music room to, um, to go practice drums or guitar, because those were the instruments I didn't know how to play, and I was, I used study hall as a, as a time to learn new things. I know people... Like, with my school, people that wanted to do, like, music lessons and stuff, there's actual classes that you can schedule in. Really? For it, yeah. Like, you can actually, actually like, schedule in, I want to learn uh, guitar. Like, I had, like, intro to guitar. and that's Where was like, this? That's at uh, North. Oh, where was this one uh, at my school? Huh? Where was this at my school? Oh, the music lessons? Yeah. Oh, yeah. It'd be I, nice to have some musical lessons at my school. Yeah, you know, it's, it all depends. Certain teachers do. And they also have, like, vocal lessons and stuff. And some lessons are after school, but, you know. Yeah, yeah. They, they offer them. Which is good. 
Yeah. Oh, also, I used to always annoy the art teacher because uh, I used to go with a group of friends, uh, and then we, we, we would annoy like the art students and the art teacher during study hall. That was fun. Yeah, we, we didn't get in trouble though. Yeah, you definitely don't want to annoy <laughs> art teachers. Or I, I don't think I've ever had any teachers that have been quote unquote bad, evil. Like no, I've I haven't, I haven't had any teachers that have been you know negative. Yeah, of course. Because um, knock on wood. Knock on wood. Because uh. <laughs> Future professors, please, please don't be bad or mean to us. Don't, don't, don't enslave us. Don't enslave us with uh, the work. Yeah, but you know. So I guess going back to Halloween, let's talk about some. Uh, you know, we keep divulging from how we keep yeah. getting onto one topic, and then somehow we end up in the entirely different but that's area. That's the point of this of this whole podcast thing. Exactly. So let's get back to our main topic of Halloween. Let's talk uh, costumes. I costumes. Guess. Costumes. Costumes. Yep. <laughs> I, I don't know how. Well, I don't know why I just did the k- extra k- 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 the extra k- k- sound. Costumes. Yeah, yeah. It's ka. Co- what costumes did you have? Uh, it is. It is the ka. Co- yeah. When you break it up, it is costumes. What costumes did you have? Um, while you were doing Halloween. When I was younger, I would have. Wow, that is a big prop. <laughs> that is a big. Some axe. kids out of nowhere just brings a battle axe. Okay. Is it? He just. Is that, what, just, what is that costume? Like, I have no idea. There's the battle axe. There's the. Uh, okay. I have no idea. Some of the, well, like I said, we we said this earlier. Some of these costumes are actually very. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, I think that's just, that's good that we're doing this live. Yeah. Like we're watching Halloween costumes go by, and because there could be something like out of the ordinary that we can just tell you guys and share with you. Well, yeah, there'll be something out of the ordinary. But yeah, going back to costumes, I guess, yeah. in my my experience, I had to do the basic stuff. Like, I was a Scarecrow one year. I was Mickey Mouse. Nice. And when I was really little, I was Winnie the Pooh. Um, let's see. What else was I? Uh, I was an Indian one year, I think. Um, nice. Like, you know. Uh, what you want to know what I was? What? I was uh, Jay from State Farm this year. Because I'm wearing, I'm wearing a Jake from State Farm costume right now. Mm-hmm. I'll sell you the insurance if you want. Uh, and um, last year I was a unicorn because my friends had a unicorn onesie. And I I, I also played saxophone at the time. Uh, in the middle school, uh, not the middle school, the high school band. And so I just went around my town with the unicorn costume just playing uh, spooky scary skeletons all over the place. And it was great because the parents were recording us and they were cheering on. And the kids were just like laughing, having a good time. It was, it was, it was something. Yeah, it's very good. Very, very exciting with Halloween. Halloween's always one of those times that, you know, is exciting. I think one year it was actually Steve Jobs. One year Steve Jobs? I was Steve Jobs one year. Nice. I mean, you were kind of a tech geek, right? I, I am a tech geek, except I didn't shave my head. Ah. Uh, no, I did not go bald for that <laughs> costume. Some people go pretty hard, <laughs> hardcore with this costume. I was like, I'm Steve Jobs with hair. Ah, uh, yes. And you don't have, like, the, the and beard. It, I don't have the beard. Well, yeah. this was middle school, so I kind of had, had something. Ah. Uh, but, you know, just not the whole... Oh yeah, I was also Steve from Minecraft uh, one year. I built this like this box and out of card out of out of cardboard. Ah, I can't speak today. Out of cardboard and it, it just oh, oh yeah. dude, I can't speak today. It's all good. It's been a <laughs> long day. <laughs> it's been a very long day. It's a long day, and it's gonna be a longer day. De- it's gonna be a longer night for me. Oh yeah, because I gotta pack and go back to college. Oh yeah, you gotta go back to college. I, was... I get to go back to college tomorrow, tomorrow morning. I'm super excited to go. Yeah, you know, it's not like I haven't enjoyed being home, and it's not like I haven't enjoyed doing, like, podcasts and stuff and recording, which we're going to still do from college, by the way. Yes, of course. Um, Zoom's always a great option for, for Zoom, us to do. The new, the new Skype. The new Skype. The new FaceTime. Whatever there. happened to Skype? I don't know. I think I think they just started charging money, and then everyone went to uh, Zoom. Yeah, because Zoom is free, Zoom. I think. Well, free for two... You, you have unlimited talk time with two people. Okay, so that's perfect, because we only have two people here. And then... Uh, if you have three or more people, it's a 40-minute time limit for the free plan, and then uh, otherwise you can pay, like, I think it's, like, $12 a month. Oh, okay. So, or something like that. Oh, yeah, pretty soon we're going to have uh, guests uh, be going on this podcast. Yes, so. we are going to have guests soon. Uh, maybe we'll have your band one day. Yeah, of course. Get your band on here. We get the, um, you know, we're going to have some guests. Of course, yeah. We're gonna guests, have... guests are really fun, too. Yeah. Just, like, we'll, talk, have, talk. we'll have some friends of ours come on, you know. Talk, talk, siblings, maybe you know things like that. Mm, Get some I don't know about siblings. On. I don't know about my sister. Actually, <laughs> let me think about siblings for <laughs> yeah, a second. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, probably no siblings. Yeah, probably no siblings. Uh, I would say because some of our our siblings are insane. Yeah, definitely mine. Not all of mine. Some of mine. 
some of yours. I have two siblings. One's fine. One's the other one's insane. I'm not gonna say which one's okay, which. Okay, that's fine. Because I'm not gonna hurt anyone's feelings. I have. Because I, I know. I, I know at least one of them listens to this, and the and also my parents listen to this. So there oh, you yeah, go. Yeah. Um, Don't want to upset them. No, I'll, I'll get that. One. Why would you say that about <laughs> your sis, your sister, or your brother? Hi, Jesse J's parents. <laughs> yeah. Uh, do your parents listen to this? No, they don't. But like, my dad knows about this podcast, so. Gotta get your dad listening to this. Oh, he's he's, he's busy. Eh, you know, you know, you gotta get you gotta get people listening to this. We, we're we're yeah. growing our audience base. We got it. We got We gotta grow our audience. Yeah, we're getting our audience growing. And, and by yeah. the way, if you listen to this, go share with some other people and go listen with them. Yes, the more listeners, the better. Because the more the more free time and the more great time we have. Yeah, we we like to share our knowledge with you guys, and you know, the more listeners we get, the more we know you guys are into this, and the more we'll continue. Yeah. And like we said, we have a Twitter, we have an Instagram. Send us the, your, what you want us to talk about in those in those two platforms. We're at Instagram, we're at the Double J Talk Show. Twitter, we are the Double J Talk Show. Find us, you'll find our blue mic icon. And that's the account you're going for. Pretty soon we'll have a Facebook and YouTube in yep. the future. We're working on Facebook and YouTube. And then, actually, I have our list of what we're distributed on right now, Oh, too. really? So I will actually tell you guys Pull it where up. you can find us. And, and while I do that, Jacob, talk about something. Okay. Um, let's see. So I, I, I... Let's see. How we got this idea as a podcast? How do we get that idea? I think we were just driving to Chick-fil-A. Yeah, we, we were just driving to Chick-fil-A and then... Jared is actually um, hosting a radio show. Um, what is it called? Uh, I am a radio DJ on 88.9 WQSU The Pulse, which is a ra- college radio station at Susquehanna University yeah. in Sellins Grove. So I am a on-air DJ. So my it's the Jazzy J Hour from 6 to 7 on Tuesdays for this fall. So tune in there, and you'll be listening to some great classic rock. Uh, I'll definitely be plugging the podcast during my radio yeah, show. Yeah, yeah, of course. Because, so, you know, I get people listening all the time, so it's it's good. So if, so if you're into classic rock and stuff, 88.9 WQSU The Pulse, if you are in the Sellins Grove area, slash Danbury, Sunbury, uh, I guess a little bit out of the Poconos, Lewisburg, State College even, I would say, Yep. tune your uh, FM dial to 88.9. If not, go to WQSU.com and you can live stream the show. And, you know, there's good content on there from everyone. So uh, I highly recommend checking it out. We're great friends of the of the station. Yeah, I'm. Yeah, well, at, least, at least I am. <laughs> it's a, it's a good station. Like there's, it's all student run, so yeah. it's a nice, it's a good thing, and I I enjoy my time up there. All right, so we're just about onto the platform list, and yep. now given I've been working hard to getting these uh, out to platforms, so I know Apple. We're still working with Apple to get Apple distributed. We're working with Castbox and Overcast right now, and then at iHeartRadio. I'm still waiting on. But because those require some approval and a little more f- episodes, and they, those approval times usually take a while. But once it's, it's time, always approval with the big companies. Yeah, these big companies require. Uh, Amazon approved it pretty quick though. Oh yeah, Amazon Podcast approved it and TuneIn because uh, uh, TuneIn owns Amazon or Amazon owns TuneIn. Sorry. So yeah, they, they they own like everything. Yeah, they do. <laughs> All right. So the podcast platforms we are on. So if you hear your favorite platform, let us know. If you and if you don't hear your platform but you want it on that platform. We'll find a way. We will find a way to make it happen. Like I said, I'm also working on Pandora, so we'll definitely work on that. So we're on Anchor. We are on Breaker, Google Podcasts, Pocket Cast, Radio Public, Spotify, Podchaser. Uh, I have the other ones here. Got to pull it up? Yep, I, I keep uh, pulling it up. We're on... Yeah, and then tune in as well, and then Amazon Podcasts. There you go. So that's, that's what, a lot of platforms. That's what we're on so far. And we're gonna keep we're gonna keep expanding that. Like eventually, we're gonna put the put these up on YouTube uh, at some point for your viewing pleasure. For your viewing pleasure for those people that enjoy YouTube uh, podcasts, you know, because I know some people do like the YouTube environment and the YouTube. Uh, yeah, my dad I, my dad uses YouTube for podcasts too. So yeah, so I'm gonna start publishing these on YouTube. I think coming soon. Uh, so stay tuned to that. Yeah, of course. Uh, we'll let you guys know the channel. It'll probably be my channel or Jacob's channel or one of our channels. Some some channel. Some channel. Some channel. We'll post it once it's up. Just because we're still trying to figure out because I don't think we're going to create a channel. No, we might. We might. Who knows? We still have some thoughts. Yeah. We're still we're, we're still trying to think about things. Again, we're new at this, so we're just kind of going as it goes. Yeah. But we're learning on the job. You know, major our major platform right now is Anchor because they're yeah. the ones that, you know, host us, I guess. We're on Anchor, so... 
Uh, the best place to find us is our Anchor website, anchor.fm slash the Double J Talk Show. And then we're right there. And that's where you'll find all our episodes and everything like that. Oh, and back to uh, on our original story of this podcast. Um, so we were in Chick-fil-A at the drive-thru. And we just said, Jared, I gotta, we gotta, we gotta make a podcast. And he just said, yeah. Yeah. I, was, I had this, yeah. I also had this idea from uh, Gary Vaynerchuk for doing a podcast because he always talks about just opening up social platforms and yeah, podcast is one of the things I popped up. Yeah, you might as well. All right, back to our thank. That was our uh, tangent for the night, or our wonderful many tangents that we do on this show. And now we're going on to back to Halloween. We got more kids coming for candy. It let's looks see, like. Let's see. What is that kid? Uh oh, we can't see his mask. Mickey Mouse. Oh, Mickey Mouse. Mickey Mouse. Really? We got Mickey Mouse. Oh, I didn't see the, the black ears with the background. Yeah. And, okay then. All right, well, just Mickey Mouse. Yeah. <laughs> Mickey Mouse. I think it's slowing down. Yeah, it's, it usually slows down, because uh, I think our town's trick-or-treating hours end at, like, 8.30, 9 o'clock-ish. Okay. You still have time, though. Yeah, people still have time. We stop around 8, 8.30. Oh, oh, we got a newcomer. Uh, we got more kids coming. Let's see, let's see, let's see. You know, I don't know if this is just stalkerish or. This is very stalkerish because we're just looking at the kids' no, camera. No, well, we have. Well, I when I'm working in here, usually I will normally have the cameras looping. Yeah. Okay. Because that's how I keep an eye on everything that goes on at my house. Got to make sure those pranks are stay away. Yeah. Last, actually, the inspiration. I'll tell you guys the inspiration of oh. why of why we installed security cameras at my house. Last year, someone decided to on mischief night for may I add to mischief TP night. my house. TP. And someone got, I think, about 2,000 post-it notes and posted noted my car, my brother's car, and, like, everyone, and, like, oh, my goodness. Why? Hey, Why? Free, po- free post-it notes. I, I still have post-it notes. <laughs> and I have, to- yeah, post-it notes, and I still have plenty of toilet paper. So joke's on them. Yeah, and I'm like, oh, my God. It took forever to clean up, though. Like, I have the picture here from when that happened, and I'm like, oh, my goodness. Like, I, did I ever show you the picture of it? No, show me. All right, I'll have to show you the picture. Let me let me pull it up real quick. But you're gonna you're gonna like be surprised that oh yeah what what you see because this is absolutely insane. How like, long did it take you to, to take down the post notes? Probably took me about three hours. Three hours. So that was three hours on a Saturday. Telling. On a Saturday, I had off that I had to take post it notes off my car. Oh man. So I was not happy. It was not fun. What about the TP? Oh, the TP that took also like three hours too, and oh my and they also had like a chalk paint too that we had to get rid of. Chalk paint? Yeah, like oh, the, the chalk paint. So yeah, there's the picture. Oh wow! <laughs> yeah, it's really. It looks like a new car. It's detailed. <laughs> it's very. De- it, it looks, looks like <laughs> it looked like a car. They got the colors. And, they got the it, colors right and everything. It looked like a car with cartoon. Yeah, someone had really uh, done that, and you know that was that was uh, that was fun. That was really fun. That was fun. So yeah, I had to clean that up, and I. Let's just say I woke up that morning. I, I actually was it Halloween morning. Yeah, it was Halloween morning. I woke it's up. Halloween. I opened the door. Sounds like a scary story. And I see my car, and I say some things. We're not going to say in the podcast. Not appropriate because it's not appropriate it's not for appropriate children. For... And we're and we cater to all audiences. It's family friendly. We're family friendly, family so we're friendly. not going to say anything bad. But yeah. So that was the inspiration of getting cameras. And, you know, we also had, in our neighborhood, we had a few package thefts and people, like, you know, stealing, uh, like, mail and packages oh, yeah. and breaking into houses and breaking into cars. And we're a relatively safe neighborhood, except sometimes we have some not-so-nice people. You got the occasional... Uh, the occasional thing. So Forge we're, pirates. Yeah, so we're just prepared. So this is more preparation. Oh, do you have the, do you have the ring uh, setting on? Do you have, like, the ring, uh, device? We actually don't have a ring doorbell. You should get one. I, I've wanted to get one for a while, but my parents are like, we don't need a ring doorbell. And I'm like... You get, like, an HD, like... Everyone has a ring. Yeah. yeah. And some sometimes you're watching some of those videos from the ring. Yeah, you can you can look them up on, like, YouTube. Yeah, they're, YouTube. They're pretty funny. Oh, yeah. Some of them are scary. Some of them are funny. It all depends. Some people have... Some people like them more than others. Let's see, let's see. Any more? Any more newcomers? No, not that I can see, but, uh, you know, some people like the ring more than others. I, I think it, it works better, because, um, you got, like, full color, full HD color up. Yeah, you got, everyone, yeah, you got full HD color, and, well, this is, this is just a night vision. Night vision, yeah. everything turns black and white. Some, some, it's weird. 
I don't know. I why. mean, it's night right now, so it, it makes sense. So it is. It is nighttime, so you know, night vision makes sense. And six going dark. Yep. Halloween is just well. Here's the question, though. Everyone goes trick or treating, but here's the real fun of Halloween: the Halloween parties. Ah, uh, yes. They are the. I never been to one. I've been to many Halloween parties in my day. Oh, tell tell me about your party stories. Because I've never been to a party. They are fun. You've never been to a party. No, I have not been to an actual like party. They're fun, but sometimes they're a little nutty. There's a lot of uh, things. Things. A lot of things at parties, you know. Halloween parties is just people doing normal high school, college party thing, but just dressed up as different items, you know, dressed up as different characters. Some people are more elaborate than others. Yep. You know, once you get to high school, you're out of the trick-or-treating phase and you're into the party phase. I mean, some, you're still in the trick-or-treating phase, kind of. Kind of. Well, it depends, depends on, like, your group of friends. I very interests. rarely see, like, high school kids trick-or-treating in my neighborhood. Really? Actually, sometimes I do. It all depends. Some years I do. There were still high, high school tr- uh, trick-or-treaters in my neighborhood. Yeah, it all depends. Some people. Some people that like candy, I guess. I mean, it's free candy. You don't have to spend any money. Exactly. So that, that was kind of the main drivers of why yeah, I went trick or Exactly. I do. Everyone enjoys free candy. I, I certainly do. All right. Well, getting off Halloween. it's free. Oh, sorry. You know what else <laughs> happens? On, what happens two days after Halloween? What? My birthday. Oh, that's right. November 2nd. November 2nd is my birthday, yep. It's on Dia de los Muertos. Yeah. You're gonna be away for- we're gonna be away. I'll be at college, and unfortunately I have to work that night. I can't do anything. I know, it sucks. Well, well we can do something in November when I- or at the end of November when I get back. Yeah, of course. Actually, no, this is tonight. Oh? Uh, daylight savings. Ah, uh, daylight savings. Time to fall back. Oh, wait. Oh, I gotta move. I'm- I'm gonna be a zombie. Anyway. No pun intended. Y'all are only a zombie. If y'all are springing forward, if you're going back, you get an hour of sleep. Oh, I, I, I had it backwards. Yeah, it all depends. I'm just gonna be good because I, I don't like Mondays. Or right, wait, what's, when's uh, November 2nd again? Monday. Monday, so... November 1st is tomorrow. Oh, uh, okay. Sunday. Okay. You know, you gotta sing a song like they do. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Tuesday Wednesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Thursday Friday, Friday, Saturday. And that's in the public com- and that's in the public domain, so we can sing that. This song is public domain. Yep. Well, let's, let's see, let's see. Any more newcomers? It's slowing down. It looks like Halloween is just about Yep. It's done for wrap up, I think. Yeah. I will have oh. a lot of candy to go back to college with me. Yeah. Because my parents have said they don't want candy staying at home, you know. Give it to me, then. I'll give you some. Yeah, give me some candy, man. I'll give you some. Give me the candy. Yeah, like I said, check out the... We're on all the platforms, you know. So check us out on, you know, all the major platforms. Like we said, our main platform is Anchor and Spotify. So check us out there. Eventually, we'll be on YouTube. Follow us on Twitter and Instagram. Uh, we're going to keep going with these episodes. Next week will be our first Zoom episode. Yep. So, we're going to get that probably recorded around Tuesday, Wednesday-ish, so it'll be up for you. Pro- yeah, we're we're, either gonna, we're working on our upload schedule. Like, right now, we're just... Probably recording. every Saturday. Every Saturday. Our first episode we did on a Wednesday? Um, what? yeah. That was yeah. the only time we were... But that's the only time we plan on doing one, but like I said, it's going to be mostly Saturdays now, from now yeah. on. So that's when we don't have school and just... Yeah, so it's going to be mostly Saturdays from now on, and like I said... We'll, we'll probably get some guests, and we'll get new things and everything, so, you know. Yeah, I'll ask my band to uh, come on. Yeah, it'll be fun. It'll be fun, definitely. Uh, but, yeah, if you have any suggestions for episodes or anything or what we should talk about... Please tell us. Please tell us. Next week, we'll probably have a new topic to talk about. We'll have new things to talk about. Actually, we'll have the election to talk about. Oh, uh, the election. We're not going to go into politics. We'll talk about who won. We'll talk about it. Just not like... We're not going to pick we're not sides. Gonna short, yeah. We're not going to pick sides. We're gonna, picking sides is I stay, probably one of the worst things. Yeah, I stay neutral in politics. I don't I don't usually pick a side. Yeah. I, I usually try. You can and... definitely lose friends over politics. It's just, oh. it's just dumb. Oh, I know. I know. Some people are very uh, set to one side. Yeah. But, you know, I just try and stay out of it. And if, if, they, if, they, if someone talks politics to me, I'll just like casually agree with them so i don't yeah, like you know i'll uh yeah you do you do what you can do yeah all right well i think that just bus- just about wraps it up uh j you have anything else to say tonight uh nothing much except for stay tuned for next time and we'll see you in the next uh podcast episode yep happy halloween everyone stay safe stay warm 
Don't Watch forget, out for razor blades. Well, yep. For, kids, have your parents check your candy, or if you're old and you're a teenager, check your candy. Make sure you don't get uh, Halloween pranked. Uh, it's trick or treat, so make sure you get the treat part of treat of uh, trick or treat. And yeah, don't forget to follow us on uh, Instagram and Twitter. And also, don't forget to fo- uh, subscribe to our podcasts on Spotify, Anchor, Breaker, Google Podcast, and all the podcast platforms. And we will let you know when we have more podcasts. And we will also let you know when we drop a new podcast episode out there. So once again, thank you for listening. And have a good night, everyone. All right, see you.